Um, the the piece that I made um, with Mary Sue defeating Bill, um, it's funny, but it's also um, it's very telling. And, you know, the thing is, with the Frozen Tundra series, I like the idea of being serious while with a smile. And that's exactly what this is. Um, in a nutshell, what, what, the, what the drawing represents is Mary Sue defeating a guy named Bill, who is allegedly an agent of the patriarchy. Uh, the reality of it is this. And here's the story behind this, um, the, whole, the, the whole drawing. So Mary Sue is a woman walking down the street, and she sees Bill. Bill is grimacing. Uh, Bill hates his life. Bill has very little power in the, in, in the world that he's in. He's a blue-collar man. And Mary Sue, looking to be offended, looking to grind an axe, sees Bill in this grimace on his face, and she decides that it is a, uh, a leer. So she immediately grabs a bat, because she's like, I'll not be a victim of the patriarchy. I'll not be objectified. I'll not be reduced to a, um, an object of this man's desire. And she's thinking all these things. And she's thinking these things about a man who is highly underpowered uh, when it comes to his place in the, in the social hierarchy. And she begins to pursue this man and chase this, this ugly little man. Um, because she's decided that he has objectified her. Well, while she's in pursuit of, um, of poor Bill, there's a man who actually does leer at her. And this man, oddly enough, looks a little bit like Brad Pitt. Well, during her pursuit, she, she, she takes a time out momentarily, and they exchange information. Uh, the Brad Pitt lookalike gives Mary Sue her, his phone number, and Mary Sue gives the Brad Pitt, but not Brad Pitt um, guy, her number. And then she returns to her, um, her, her pursuit of this man who has wronged her by allegedly leering at her, poor Bill. Eventually she catches up to Bill and she cracks this bat over his head and he falls, uh, falls to the ground. He just topples to the ground. And, um, uh, Mary feels very good about herself, so good that she climbs on Bill's chest triumphantly, and she says, "Woohoo! Here's one for um, for feminism and 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 strength." And it's funny because it's a gross reduction of what feminism is, and that's what comedy is. Comedy, a lot of times, is a gross uh, reduction of a thought or an idea for the sake of a laugh, and that's what this is. But behind the laugh is a very real fact. And the fact is, a lot of people choose to be outraged when it's convenient. People are very selective in who they have outrage for. And in this case, this is a, a gender battle that's going on. Uh, Bill didn't do anything that remotely resembled what Mary Sue thought he was doing. Yet Brad Pitt lookalike did do that. And she was charmed. So what's happened is this selective idea of what harassment is, of what catcalling is, is rearing its ugly head in this, in this very scenario. And this is a phenomenon that I've actually seen. Our, our society bases uh, a lot of what you can and can't do based off of what you look like. Um, and your status in society. And poor Bill had neither the looks nor the status, and he didn't even participate in the um, in the disrespect of this woman, uh, like she uh, like the narr like the the narrative that she created in her head. But once this n this narrative proved true with the Brad Pitt lookalike, she was charmed. And a lot of men are checking out because they don't fit the the top ten percent of Brad Pitts and the um, you know, in the square jawline, uh, uh, high-powered exec, six-figure men, and most men, there was a study that was shown, most men are, are pretty powerless. 80% um, of men were deemed as, in this study, I can't say that the study is true because I don't know exactly how many people were, were, were involved in that, in that study, 
but it, it showed that, <clears throat> excuse me, women found 80% of men actually undesirable. And the top 10 to 20% uh, are the ones that, that usually women vie for. Well, poor Bill didn't fit anywhere. Uh, but he was a recipient of the wrath of the, um, of the war on the patriarchy. Um, and this, again, illustrates you know, the, the, the blanket one-size-fits-all, only it doesn't uh, mentality that our society has. Uh, we don't really judge people based off of character. We don't judge people based off of who they are. Um, we, we're, it's more like who they, who they appear to be. And she made swiftly made concessions for the Brad Pitt lookalike because he looked like Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt being of somebody in our society that has um, a credibility because of his acting skills, his wealth, and his looks, all of which Bill didn't possess. So the war uh, against the patriarchy uh, in this situation is very selective. And a lot of the wars that are being waged by certain groups are, are done so in a selective fashion. Um, if you really want to impress me, wage the war when the war is happening, no matter who it's against. Um, we pick and choose in our society who's exempt from the rules of certain conflicts based off of their social status, based off of their, their appearance. And I think it's wrong that we've gotten so far away from the character of people um, that, we, uh, that we don't even wage war against people that we, we probably should. Uh, the guy that leered at her leered at her. However, leering was no longer even considered in the conversation uh, because now it was a form of flattery. Um, in this way, the, the entire purpose for what Mary Sue was even trying to do was completely obliterated. It was obliterated because she changed what was actually happening into something that was acceptable merely because this guy looked like Brad Pitt. And that is the comedy of it. You know, the irony is, is this woman is fighting against the patriarchy and then she stops and makes an exception for the patriarchy. Um, it's funny. And I'm not afraid to poke fun at feminists. Um, I'll, I'll poke fun at anybody. Um, because, you know, who are you to be exempt? I'm not exempt. Um, the other person isn't exempt. She isn't exempt. He isn't exempt. Why should you be? It's all fair game, and it's all good fun as well.